Hi, I'm Amy and I want to speak out because I find that what is going on in this country is absolutely outrageous where a few days ago we suffered from a horrendous terrorist attack at the hands of yet again another jihadi person claiming to be uh, well he was connected to ISIS and he drove his car across Westminster Bridge and slaughtered people maimed people and uh, slaughtered a policeman within the grounds of the Palace of Westminster and no sooner does that happen then the media and the politicians everybody immediately stands up and joins hands and lights candles and says we're going to stand together but they don't say they don't want to admit that there's an issue with Islam which there obviously is and though they're, they're not going to take any actions to try to prevent another attack happening again. All they do is bring out more police and tell everybody to be vigilant. And here's the Mayor of London, who is in charge of protecting the people in London, not just Londoners, as he always refers to people, but also tourists, and says, uh, basically, that, um, uh, you know, it's all normal now, that uh, you should expect to have terrorist attacks. It's just uh, part of being living in a big city which is the most, one of the most outrageous remarks any, any politician responsible for looking out for people can make. And I'm sorry, but no, we're not going to expect it. We shouldn't get used to it. Something needs to be done. There needs to be a recognition that there's an issue with Islam and there's an issue with these fundamental people who've been able to spread their message. They've been able to basically invade Europe unhindered thanks to Angela Merkel but also the the agreement and acquiescence of the politicians in the other countries that have enabled everybody all these people to come in and in the meantime our schools there, there are schools that are Islamic schools that children are being indoctrinated as children not to feel British but to be Muslim first and the mosques there are reports out that uh, there's a lot of imams and preaching that goes on that is to encourage Islamic terrorism and it encourage the spread the caliphate which is their goal which is what they've declared and I just don't understand how our society is just allowing it to go on and to continue and to not demand that something be done and I had joined Britain first because they are the only political group in this country other than, well the only other person obviously is Nigel Farage with UKIP but he's not part of it anymore, but Britain first is the only political party that recognises the horrendous issue that we have been, has been inflicted on us and wants to do something about it peacefully. And what I find as just a normal person who wants to go about my business to find myself now wondering when I, if I go, want to go to London, whether it will be safe or not. It's just, it is a tragedy. It's a tragedy what's happening to Europe and something has to be done. And so there, you know, I went on a, on a rally in Telford and it was a, supposed to be a peaceful event. We were peaceful, and um, I became a victim of a, an assault from this some antifa throwing a brick from a distance, lobbing it, and it hit me in in my chest. And it was totally unprovoked. We were doing nothing other than doing a peaceful uh, march and rally against. Uh, sexual exploitation of girls by Muslim grooming gangs which our politicians are, are just shoving under the carpet because of, despite the evidence and the numbers of victims and it's a complete and utter outrage. Okay, my name is Marian Lukasik. I am uh, fully agree with uh, Amy. Uh, I think uh, this is not only British problems uh, Muslim. This is the, this is uh, our problem too, because we live in this country. We are the most uh, resident of this country because live uh, four, ten, 
years we have we have full right when you want that uh, full right in this country we must uh, fighting uh, about this country and uh, i would like invite all uh, polish people not polish all european all eastern european uh, to come first of april uh, this year uh, to charing cross to march uh, charing cross start from charing cross uh, because we must protest uh, so what happened is uh, should be uh, enough is uh, enough is enough because uh, we have uh, enough what happened we must fight in again islam because uh, they the media said uh, islam is the uh, religion peace religion nine this is the uh, this is hate religion uh, never ever peace religion uh, f uh, peace religion uh, kill a uh, people could you could you like yeah like this and uh, I would like to uh, say to everyone, uh, come and uh, march together uh, 1st April at uh, 1 o'clock uh, in... Uh, Charing Cross. In is it Charing Cross? Charing, I think it's Charing Cross, yeah. And this is the, I think, uh, come uh, more more people, uh, more Polish people, more people from uh, East uh, European, not only East European. Germany, German, Sweden. Uh, French, Sweden, because uh, probably in West is the Islam more problem than uh, that, that, uh, in East European. Uh, because uh, Poland don't want to take any, any immigrant, Islamic immigrants, so we are a bad uh, country. And uh, Brussels uh, wanted to uh, do a restriction about Poland. I am full agree. We we should not take any Muslim uh, immigrant from uh, uh, from this country. We can uh, take uh, Christian uh, immigrants. I am full agree because they uh, they are uh, killed, they are tortured, they are uh, they do they do some so so wrong. Uh, excuse me for my bad language, but uh, English language. But I, I wanted to uh, explain what 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 I, uh, what I want. Okay, thanks a lot. There's a, uh, the march against terrorism on the first of April. So yeah, that's the the name of the march is March Against Terrorism, and uh, you can find, I believe this on Facebook. There's a link to that to, okay. to if you want. To